The far-right lawmakers in Israel are advancing a bill that would give National Security Minister Itmar Ben Gvir sweeping powers. According to the reports, the bill is being introduced as a private member's bill, which would enable Ben Gvir to skip steps that would invite the government's legal advisers to raise any objections. So the proposed bill being filed by the lawmakers Vika Fogel, who is the chairman of the Knesset's National Security Committee, he has decided to introduce the bill as a private member's bill rather than a government bill. This would allow the bill to be fast-tracked through the Knesset, meaning that it will bypass the need for a legal opinion from the Attorney General. If Ben Gavir was his, has his way, he would be given the powers to impose administrative detentions. He will be able to issue detention orders against people with neither charge nor a trial, aside from expanded powers to jail citizens. The bill grants the minister to act alone in ordering restrictions on where a person can live or visit. Limit who they can speak to, forbid them from using the internet and place curbs on what they can purchase or what services they're allowed to receive. Ben Gwere's office has confirmed this proposal and described it as a last resort brought about by the inability of law enforcement agencies to deal with crime using existing tools. Since taking up the role of National Security Minister, Ben Gwere has sought to exercise more direct control over police operations and personnel. The announcement of the bill comes a day after Ben Gavir said that he would appoint a policy coordinator to help address the rampant bloodshed. For more on this now, we have with us our correspondent Jodi Gon joining us live from Ranana. Jodi, thank you so much for joining us. What have been some of the reactions to this proposed bill? I can see. Yes. So Otsmo, who did proposal to really administrative detention powers, has been called a last resort to tackle the wave of organized crime in Arab Israeli communities, which has seen 102 killings since the start of the year related to gangs or domestically motivated. And that's a threefold increase. Now, detention is this including is up the terror suspects but this bill could mean that crime suspects could be put temporarily in or trial for that to happen it would need to be requ requested by the police commissioner and get approval from the attorney general or state prosecutor or a deputy state prosecutor but introducing the measure as a private member's bill as you said not a government bill has faced criticism as it bypasses the attorney general and would mean a faster legislative process as well as Otsmo Yehudit Bezalel Smotrich the head of the ultra nationalist religious Zionism party he's indicated his support for the proposals but the Arab focused parties are strongly opposed and say that the government's focus is misplaced. And I've spoken to parliamentary sources who say it's not clear that a bill would actually pass. Right, absolutely. Uh, Jody, in fact, I was just going to come to this. What do the focus parties have to say about this issue? So, Ahmed Tibi, who's a senior Hadash Tal MP, and he, he should be able to tackle organized crime and that they need to invest effort in this and that Ben Gavir's priorities are wrong and that he should focus on countering crime instead of prison conditions. The coalition is also talking about enlisting the Shin Bet security service in the fight against organized crime. But the Shin Bet head is reportedly against the idea. All right. It detracts from terrorism. Mansour Abbas, who's the head of the Islamic Ram Party, he said that involving the Shin Bet isn't feasible and called on the cabinet to deploy other resources to combat crime. And remember that last week, Prime Minister Netanyahu hosted a summit about tackling crime. And we're hearing that we should expect to hear more over the next couple of weeks on this issue. Uh, all right. Well, Jody, thank you so much for bringing us the latest on this. We will, of course, continue to track this very closely. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.